Do you sell stuff on Shopify and ever want to use Facebook ads to sell anything in your store? Then you need to install this ahead of the iOS 14 privacy lockdown that is going to happen. Stick around. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. And a bonus at the end, I'm going to show you my Shopify hack app to get your AOV, your average order value in your store up instantaneously. Thanks so much for being here. I'm Matt Johnson. I'm the CEO of Guide Social. We're an e-commerce Facebook ads agency that specializes in video creative uh, for innovative products. We have a ton of Shark Tank companies. Um, and subscribe to this channel if this is your first time. I'm so glad that you're here and hit that like button if you're getting value. Okay, so let's jump into this. Basically what we're talking about here is the iOS 14 update. And I'll put a link to my big video below that tells you what this update is. But basically every time you open up your phone now, uh, the first time that you touch an app, it's going to say, do you want this app to track your data? And most people are going to say no. So basically our ability as advertisers to track data across the web conversions that, that happen on our Facebook ads is going to pretty much go away unless we do a few things. Uh, and one of those biggest things is installing the Facebook conversion API. And it's easiest to do in Shopify. I'm gonna hopefully make some other videos about how to do this on WordPress and Zapier. Um, but the first one I wanna do is the easiest. Um, so I wanna show you exactly how to do this in Shopify. So I'm gonna go right into one of my client accounts over my shoulder and show you exactly how to install this. Now, first of all, I just wanna say, why do we do this? Basically, the way that we track anything that happens through Facebook ads happens with the Facebook pixel. It's this little tiny piece of code that goes on your website and captures information from Facebook users that click through from your ads or really anybody that goes to your site um, and captures their data and sends that back to Facebook. So with tracking going away now, being blocked um, by the iPhone, now we have to find other ways to beam that information back to Facebook so that we can actually let Facebook optimize our campaigns. If Facebook doesn't know that conversions are happening, it can't optimize for more conversions. It can't settle into the right CPAs uh, and the right return on ad spend. So you're in trouble. So Shopify and Facebook have teamed up with this conversions API to make it super simple to send that data back on the server side. So through a different channel. So you think of the pixel sends back through one channel back to Facebook. We're using a different channel to send that information back to Facebook through the conversion API. So here's how you set it up. Let's go over my shoulder. Okay, so here we are inside Shopify. This should look familiar. This is sort of a blank store that one of my clients has, so there's not really anything in here. Um, so the app you're going to want to install for the Facebook conversion API is this Facebook app. So I've already got it here in this store, but I'll show you how to get it. It's just an app. There is another Facebook app, so make sure that you get this one that just says Facebook. So you're gonna wanna go to your apps, visit the Shopify app store here. Okay, so now that I'm in the Shopify app store, I'm just going to simply search for Facebook. And we've got all this here. Um, and so this is where you'll find the Facebook channel. And that's your channel right there. So we'll add that app. We've already got it, so not going to make that much of a difference. And there it is. So what you want to do first is start your set. It's going to have this first. If you don't have this installed, um, if you do have it installed and you've set it up in any way, you're going to see uh, a settings already up here. This is fresh. So when you just do it from the beginning, this is what you'll see. You're going to want to go to this third one and go to start setup. Um, and then you're going to want to connect your account. Um, so if you are an agency owner or like a marketer and you have clients, you're going to want to have them do this so that it's not your Facebook account that's connected so i'm just going to go ahead and connect this here and then we'll uh, and then we'll skip through okay so now i've connected my facebook account and we're starting to get into the nitty-gritty here and you have to make sure to have this set stuff set up correctly and as far as this stuff it's pretty self-explanatory just give it access to the facebook page the business manager that's associated with where you run ads and the ad account here where you're going to run ads um, pretty self-explanatory to do that. Once that's hooked up, you definitely want to turn this on. Little toggle, turn that switch on on data sharing. And Facebook target country, um, select what's relevant to you, United States in my case, 
and accept the terms and conditions, finish setup. But we're not done yet. Okay, so now it's gonna kick us back to the home page of the app and we have to make sure to go to settings now, okay? And it's just my agency account that I linked up here. I'm gonna unlink that as soon as we get off since this is a client account. And you want to go to data sharing settings, okay? By default, this is not correct. Choose level, enhance, you wanna set that to maximum, maximum, okay? And all of this should be should be on, default, etc., and fine. And make sure that that's toggled on. And then you go to confirm, and you're good to go. So once you've done that, you are all set. You've got everything all set up in your account. Now I said that I was gonna have a little tip for you at the end about getting AOV up, and my tip for that is the Frequently Bought Together app. I love this app. I have no affiliation with this app whatsoever. I have just seen it skyrocket AOVs. And basically what this allows you to do is it allows you to set up an experience that looks exactly like Amazon's frequently bought together checkboxes. So this is my client cord buddy here. Let's go and take a look at manual bundles. And uh, we don't have anything set up because this is sort of a dummy account. But let's go ahead and, and set one up. So I'd select the product that I want to put uh, deals on top of. Actually, why don't we why don't we do the single version of it? Okay, so that's the product. Now it's select products to add to this bundle. So let's throw in a tuner and the uke buddy. Cool. Now I can actually add a discount to this bundle as well as a percentage, um, etc. But honestly, I'm not doing a lot of those, and I'm still seeing good conversions here. So we've got those there. And so now if I go and view this page you're going to see that the frequently bought together is here and you can actually change this and this converts extremely well. You can actually change this in your store. Um, if you go to like where it shows up, it's in widget location preferences. I like to put it below the add to cart button. And so let's refresh here and you see that it goes right below the add to cart button. Love this. It converts so well and if you have shopify set up correctly you've got the cross outs and everything as i said you can put a bundle detail on there as well if you want to know more about capi and what it means and what the what the deal is uh here's a video you can click uh over there <laughs> uh to, to see a little bit more about that and if you want to know how to use my hero system for viral video to create the video ads that go into making a lot of the facebook ads that we run crush it you can click that video here all right thanks so much Talk to you later.